having a tea. Um, I'm having my one. Yeah, I was having a tea, so. Yeah? Yes. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's probably how you feel right now because it's late yeah. there. Yeah. I've got one of the, um, the, the rare findings um, of uh, Facebook. Um, and uh, is, um, um, in my opinion, one um, a great artist. Um, and his name is uh, Zach, Zach Crane. Um, <laughs> Zach, can you, can you just uh, tell us um, a little bit about yourself? Because I don't really know you. I just found you uh, one day. Um, I was actually doing some, some other stuff on, on Facebook. I was actually writing uh, a message to my mum. And um, a picture of, um, of yours um, with, with one of your uh, main, probably, um, um, piece of art. Um, uh, came up and um, and I said instead of um, emailing um, well texting my mum I uh, texted you so and now here we are <laughs> that what you just described right there is my goal um, my goal is to capture attention and to have people kind of come invite people into my world of art you caught that mine answers that. Um, you you painted <laughs> some toilets or uh, some urinals or, or mm, something like that, and uh, um, and that um, that was um, the first time that I saw something like that. I don't I don't know why, but for several years now, probably about six years, I've been really into urinals. Like I did a whole pattern of them. Um, this kid made a bow tie out of them for me, and I've done. I just always like the idea of them for some reason. I think they're kind of getting lost in this world of urinals. It's kind of fun. Is there a particular um, place in, in your house for for those, or um, is that in your um, lab? Whatever? Yeah, my house is my studio. Yeah, well, I, I've got a, like cut it. I've got a studio spot, but yeah. when it comes to the urinals, like I, I I run around all over town trying to find them. <laughs> Um, where do you live? Um, I, live right, I live literally right in the heart of Hollywood. Okay, so uh, we need someone um, around that area who could uh, give us some um, some tips on where to find your rhinos. What do you think? Um, let, let, let's see if we can get um, anyone to, to help us out. Definitely. <laughs> I felt like school just spit me out. So I went for I went to school for about three years, um, and I I don't even remember what my major was. I think it was communications or something like that. I just wasn't really very good at it. So um, I I didn't go study art or anything like that. I've always just kind of not really um, had a way with art, or I've always loved to draw. But um, up until about a year ago, I took it really seriously. And then I, I've gotten better and better, you know, it's been kind of an evolution because I'm, I'm practicing and doing it every single day. So I'm, I'm a self-taught artist, but um, I've got, you know, I have, a men I have mentors and other people that influence me and, and help me and things like that. But if, um, if my opinion is worth anything, uh, you've, you've been doing like pretty, pretty well um, um, because um, 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 what you, you, you produce it's amazing. And um, can you just tell us what is your um, if you have a website, face, Facebook page where people can go and see um, um, what kind of work you, you're doing? Um. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my website. I've got an active website. It's just Zachary Z A C H M Crane dot com, not Mark. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> but I, I I will make sure that uh, it's the right one. <laughs> yeah, make sure that it's fixed. It's just an, the initial. So you just been on holiday? Where have you been? Yeah, I just got back from Hawaii. I got, I went to Kauai. I've what never been to the island of Kauai, so it was really cool. Well, it's, I, I saw in a couple of um, amazing pictures, and uh, oh. um, you were wearing some of these, like uh, um, in in, <laughs> in the final one. Where did you go? Yeah, I went on a helicopter ride. It was cool. I went and got to check out like where they filmed Jurassic Park and and the Jurassic Park Falls and all that stuff. And it like brought back all these memories of being a kid. And you know, Jurassic Park was like that movie. You know, from you, you must be inspired by something. Um, is um, have you got like anything in particular that inspires you? Like um, um actually, I mean, a ton of different things inspire me, but. I think since, you know, I'm, I'm talking to you and you're from the UK, I think that I, last time I went to, the, to uh, London, I was so inspired. I uh, just, the people there are so cool and it was just interesting. Like I, 
I went to the store at Cat's Kitchen, like I was telling you, I was, I was drinking one of her mugs. And I was just really inspired by all the colors and like pattern on pattern on pattern and how everything was cut out and it kind of looked like a set design. And Anton, you know a little bit, you know a lot about my work. It's that's how my work is. You know, it's really colorful and tons of patterns. So I think that's kind of that was one of the things I was really inspired by when I went to London um, and the UK. And I just I, there, there's a funny, um, almost like slapstick sarcasm to all the by American pop culture, celebrity, uh, movies, um, anything you know current and. You know, I love HBO. HBO is one of the one of my main huge inspirations. I I watch a lot of shows that come out on HBO, and that's kind of one of the things that inspires me. Um, liking colors. Um, does does it mean you're happy, or you're always happy, positive, and um, uh, you always see things uh, um in a nice way, or does it mean no, something? No, uh, definitely else? not. <laughs> the colors like really have more to do with just a design. They, I mean, I'm my work isn't gen, isn't typically a really happy work. Um, it's it's just a lot of the times it's a little bit more serious, it's more real. And some of my work has, you know, colors really muted. One of my last self portraits I did, I just discovered a new white ink that I kind of put over my skin um, that gives it kind of a raw, a raw chicken like texture. So that's kind of like taking color out of the situation, but um, that's kind of no. It doesn't. It doesn't mean happiness. It just. Uh, I don't always know what it means. Where do you see right. yourself in five years' time, or ten years' time, or maybe um, tomorrow? Tomorrow, I see myself um, painting and finishing a bike that I'm making for. Um, an art show that's gonna be really cool. Okay. So I see myself finishing that. <laughs> and have you got any exhibitions coming up? Um, I do. Yeah. Um, I have. I have one coming up at uh, Ron Robinson. Um, it's a store. It's a really cool store that's in Santa Monica, and I'm doing a collaborative art show with other artists, and we're painting these bikes. Um, there are these Martone. Um, it's called, the bike is called the Martone. It's a really cool, um, chic kind of uh, bike, and uh, me and a few other artists are going to be painting them and exhibiting them. Zach, um, what can I say? Uh, thank you so much for this, and it, you you do have the definitely the talent, and uh, um, and you're putting uh, the work in, into it, and um, I'm, and I, w I wish you all the best. Um, okay. Thank you, Anton. I appreciate it. Thank and you so much. MTO Pop Radio us. for having me on and UK. Love you guys. Thank you, Anton. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.